lovelies, welcome back, it's your girl Katie here and today's video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of May's BoxyCharm Base Box. So I'm just going to be showing you guys what all I got this time around, telling you prices and all that good stuff. So to no further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. Alright, so first up is the card and it is the same theme as the premium box. It's the Super Bloom theme. So first up I'm seeing something um, from Yansa. Yensa, I think is how you say it. And it is Skin on Skin Beauty Sponge. So it's a sponge. And this retails for $18. So here's the box packaging. It's pretty shiny. And then here's the actual sponge. So I'm not really sure what it meant by skin on skin. It feels just like your typical sponge, you know, pretty soft. It's got two angled sides here, two flat sides, which is nice. And then it has a pointed side. It feels like a decent sponge. Um, I'm sure that once you put it in water, it'll expand. So that's pretty interesting to get. I do like getting sponges. Those are always good to have on hand. So there's that. Then the skincare product in here is from Glow Recipe, which is a pretty good skincare brand. I do like them. And this is the Plum Plum Hyaluronic Serum. So it comes in this nice packaging. If I remember correctly, I feel like they've had this in past boxes. I haven't ever received it. I feel like I have seen it in other boxes though. All right, so that retails for $42. All right, and then we have my choice item because you get to customize one product in the box. And this is from Item Beauty, which is by Addison Ray, And this is the Air Hug Concealer. I forgot to mention I did do a try on of the makeup products that are in this box today. So I did try out this concealer. I got the shade 110. So it's a concealer, like I said. And we'll look at the doe foot. It's a big doe foot. Like I said, I did try this out today, and from me applying it, everything, it applied very well. I mean, I wouldn't, I don't know, how much is this? This re retails for $18, but I didn't say. Yeah, I would say it's a good concealer so far. I liked it. The coverage is decent. Blended out really well. Didn't seem to break up my foundation or anything, because sometimes I find that some concealers kind of break up my foundation, but this one didn't seem to do that. I'm glad to be able to have gotten this and tried it out. Um, yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. And then next up is something from Cab, which is a brand that I've seen a couple times in BoxyCharm. I think I've gotten some palettes from in my boxes from them. So this is the Lemon and Lime Lip Oil Duo. So I think it's just basically like lip glosses, like two lip glosses. This retails for $39. That seems kind of expensive for lip oils, but I don't know. Anyways, I did try this on today. I tried it on top of my uh, liquid lipstick in I didn't realize it's supposed to be a lip oil, um, but I didn't break up my lipstick. I didn't break up my lipstick or anything. So I'm assuming it can go over liquid lipsticks because I applied it and it didn't, you know, added a pretty nice shine. It does smell like lemons. Um, so yeah, so far I like this. I will say that I feel like the price is a little bit on the pricey side. $39 for two. Seems a little high, but whatever. All right, and then last but not least, I saved the best for last. And this is a palette from Complex Culture. I have really been impressed with complex culture I've gotten I actually ordered some stuff from them a while back and I really like their products it's excited to see that they have another makeup product in a box I know they had stuff in the past boxes and they even have stuff on their drop um, the boxy charm drop shop um, but it's really cool to see something like this in here so this is the complex culture beauty baked highlighter and bronzer quad and this retails for $42, and this is actually a new launch item, which is really exciting because I do really like their products, so it's really exciting to get a new launch product from them in this box. So I did, I did try this product on my face today. So here is what the palette looks like. Nice tan palette, and then on the inside, it's got a nice big mirror, and then here is the actual product. So we have two bronzers and then two highlighters. And so far, first impressions, I'm pretty pleased with this uh, palette. I went in with this bronzer here today, and although it looks kind of light and pan, it looks pretty nice on my skin tone. Like, it's a little bit deeper than what it looks like in pan, so I'm glad I went in with the lighter one first before I went into the darker one. But yeah, 
I think it's a beautiful bronzer. I think it looks really good. I'm Maybe I'm just biased because I really like this brand. But then again, I am pretty critical sometimes. So if it wasn't good, I would tell you. But no, I think it looks beautifully on the skin. And then the highlighters, I dipped in. I dipped into both the highlighters. And yeah, it's pretty blinding. I think it looks beautiful on the skin. So really, really impressed with this. Uh, $42, yeah, that's a bit pricier, but they are kind of a more pricier brand, but I definitely say their quality is there. All right, so that's everything in the box, and now I'm just going to tally up the price to let you guys know the overall value, and then after that, I'll do a final run-through and tell you guys my final thoughts on this month's box. All right, so the overall value for this month's box is $159, which is pretty good considering what I paid for the box, which I think is around $35, or is it $30? I can't remember. Anyways, I know I'm getting more than what I paid for. So, as for the final run through, you know what? I don't feel like it was too shabby of a box. When I first looked at it, at it, I was like, oh, is it too heavy on skincare? But actually, no, there's only one skincare product in here this month, and this is the Glow, Glow Recipe. And this is actually a product that I've been wanting to try out. So I am pretty pleased to have gotten this in my box. And then for the other products, I don't mind getting beauty blenders, um, in my boxes as long as I don't get them a whole lot and I haven't gotten one in a while so I am curious to try this one out and then the concealer wasn't too bad actually I will use it for sure it seemed to be a pretty decent concealer I probably wouldn't have gone out and bought it on my own but it's in my box so I will use it and I'm glad to have tried it out the lip oils are interesting I would feel I feel like this is one product that I'm just like, oh, it's okay. Um, I feel like I've gotten a lot of lip glosses lately, so maybe that's why I'm just not super ex uh, excited. And Cat Beauty, Cat Beauty is an okay brand. They're not my favorite, but they're not horrible. Um, I do feel like the retail price on this is a bit high. That's just my personal opinion. I will definitely say the star of this box is this palette right here. This right here makes the whole box for me. Um, yeah, I love Comp. I love complex culture, and I really feel like this this uh, palette is really good. I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of it. I don't know. I just really liked how the bronzer looked on me. I think it was very complimentary on my skin tone, and then the highlighter is really blinding and really pretty. So, yeah, I am definitely happy with this product right here. But, yeah, that is going to do it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up because that really does help my channel. And also, let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of my box this month. Did you guys get BoxyCharm base box this month? And if you did, what did you think of your box? Let me know down below because I love chatting with you guys down there. But other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!